Hello Gemini, thank you so much for checking back on my videos. I really appreciate all of your support. Geminis are some of my biggest supporters and I'm a Gemini Sun and a Gemini Venus, so it fits. Um, we're gonna be looking at what's coming towards you in love and what can you expect in the near future as well. So current and future energies. Um, as always, these readings are general, so keep that in mind. They will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirits, angels, messages, guidance, please, for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know regarding love? What can Gemini expect for January 2022? Okay, I want to cut the deck. All right, let's go with it. Successful, accomplished and stable, sensitive, responsive and perceptive. Interesting. I think that this is um, someone that you could be meeting or you're dealing with someone like this, Gemini. Moving forward, you had a similar um, reading recently with moving forward where you were moving forward with your person earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn what is it with Gemini and earth signs burning passion okay so yes I have a feeling that this is what's coming towards you or what you're dealing with someone that is successful someone that could be an earth sign maybe they have earth in their chart Taurus Virgo Capricorn and there's a connection here a connection that already exists I feel or it's coming in very quickly if it doesn't exist now it's coming in pretty quickly now this sensitive um, energy, I'm picking up that this is something that you are aware of. Maybe this is something you manifested or dreamed of, or you're just very perceptive, um, responsive when it comes to this connection. So if this is someone that perhaps you're not with right now, but are thinking about, there's a connection there maybe that's more spiritual. And if this is someone that you're dealing with, meeting someone new, for example, um, there's a lot about this connection that just is special to you, sticks out to you. Signs, synchronicities that you're seeing at this time. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else do we need to know? True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, this is looking really good so far. I just get the sense that um, for the Gemini that I'm reading for, because again, this won't resonate for all of you, uh, this is about a connection that I feel is very, it has a very, uh, it's very solid. Um, how do I say that? Um, it's, I, I'm trying to um, translate in the, the, the energy that I'm feeling, trying to translate it into English. It's just not working out very well right now, but um, give me a little bit of time. <laughs> so what I'm getting here is almost like there's there's this there's a solidity to this connection so this is something you can feel and touch um, this is something with potential for growth for long-term stability this is yeah give your relationship a chance and true love I feel like this is something that you need to invite in or accept um, so I don't know if this is someone that perhaps is coming into your life that you weren't expecting um, whatever the case may be spirit is asking you to have faith to trust and what's happening there's some sort of cycle here that is starting for you um, and I feel like with burning passion it's like very quick the passion is there the chemistry is there there's fast intimacy this could already exist but I don't think I'm not talking to a Gemini where the connection is already solid or there's already a, a established relationship I'm not feeling that it's almost like this is what's coming so let's get some tarot cards out here. Spirits, angels, cards. Can we get some insight, please, for Gemini? What's going on for Gemini in love? Current and future energies, please, for Gemini regarding love and relationships. What do we need to know, Spirit? So I'm going to put down a couple cards for the current energies and a couple cards for the future energies and we'll look at the bottom of the deck as well current energies nine of coin reverse seven of swords the world yeah there's something happening here that is odd <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it it's almost like this new beginning it's like i'm picturing like hiccups 
but I don't know why. We'll, we'll see if we can get some insight. And we'll, we'll put these down for the future energies. I want to look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Three of coin reverse. So something is not really do, like working out here. Or someone's not able to put in effort or energy. But I don't feel like this is, it's almost like this, I'm picturing something that is not big. So this wouldn't be like a big obstacle. Hold on, Gemini, please bear with me because I'm getting a lot of messages, but they don't really make sense to me right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to like say what I'm feeling here, but it's just, I feel like this will be a very specific reading, but it's very murky right now. So I'll get there. There's definitely a new cycle here though with the world, something new. Now seven of swords, again, I should be feeling that this is bad, but I'm not. And this three of coin reverse, I don't feel this is a big obstacle. So let's see why I'm why am I feeling that way? Tell me about the three of coin reverse. Why is the three of coin reverse spirit? Why is the three of coin reverse? Nine of cups. Why is the three of coin reverse? Page of Cups and Queen of Wands. Yeah, the, it's not, I'm not getting bad energy, bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. Even if this is a, a hiccup, it's not for long. Things are going to be moving. There's going to be events that take place. Um, this could be a situation where there might be a small interference with the Three of Coin Reverse. Um, or there's something to do with like work or collaborating, building something together. It's like a small hiccup. Um, but I feel like someone's going to have what they want here. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups. This could be, um, okay, so let me try to put like an analogy here, an example. This could be, for example, that you meet someone new or you reconnect with someone, right? But maybe they are far away right now because they're making a move for work or because of what's happening, you know, with COVID or something like that. And there's already like a goal set and a, an expectation of that being resolved, right? So they'll be like, okay, well, um, let me meet you on this day once everything is, you know, done or whatever. Or this could be somebody new coming in that's like, you know, I have a very big project at work or the holidays were crazy. Um, so I can, you know, dedicate more time to you here or, you know, more time to you in the future. Something like that is kind of what this is. I think that with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Cups, someone's very into you and vice versa. There's chemistry here. There's a desire, a want, a need. Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands together. And the Page of Cups is almost like someone sees something that they want and they want to go after it. I just don't think that they'll be able to go after it right away, you know? And I think that also, this isn't, for some reason, I'm getting that this isn't something that you expected because I have give your relationship a chance here. So it's almost like you have to give this a chance. You have to, for, for some reason, try. <laughs> Trust, right? Have faith. Let's see what's going on here with this uh, nine of coin reverse. Oops. Tell me about the nine of coin reverse. What's this about? This is typically someone that's not very uh, free or independent or um, they're attached to something, uh, dependent on something, not very secure. Um, they could be um, insecure about something. But what I'm getting here, it's almost like this is the, well, let's see, let me see. Tell me about the nine of coin reverse. Why is the nine of coin reverse? Why is the nine of coin reverse? Five of coin. Why is the nine of coin reverse? Why is the nine of coin reverse for Gemini? Three of pentacles. Why is the nine of coin reverse? Can you get one more, please? One more. Three of wands, exactly. So, okay, we have the higher font at the bottom of the deck. So this energy up here that I'm picking up, I, f I feel it here too. It's like there's a waiting period, um, some sort of difficulty. This could be work related because I have the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Someone possibly is tied up at work or tied up somewhere because of financial difficulties 
or something like that. And I feel like you would have to wait a little bit for this person. It could also be that they're waiting for something official to be completed with the Three of Wands and the Higher Font. Almost like maybe this is official paperwork or a contract. Something with the governments or courts or something like that. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Uh, not reverse, the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Five of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I really hope you're not going to be dealing. Oh, wow, the Two of Cups. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Hmm. Wow, there's the Wheel of Fortune again and the Four of Pentacles. Wow, Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Cups. Something is happening. I don't know. Oh, this is crazy. This will not resonate with every Gemini because I don't think all of you are in this situation. But for the Gemini that I'm speaking to, there is some sort of difficulty here that you will overcome with this person. Um, it could be that there is drama within a friend group, a family. Um, you could have, maybe, you know, this is a situation where you and this person get off on the bad foot. You know, they don't make the best first impression. This could be that someone has difficulties with their family right now. Um, you know, and, and I, again, I don't feel like this is something that cannot be overcome or resolved. I feel like it will be pretty quickly with the Wheel of Fortune here, maybe with just information or communication with the King of Swords. I think what happened here perhaps is that um, someone might have tried to keep this from you. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Maybe they didn't want you involved in this drama. Maybe they didn't want you affected by whatever they were dealing with. This could be you as well, Gemini. You could have many suitors that are trying to hold on to you, um, past partners, people you've been dating. <coughs> Maybe you have situations with your family. Um, I feel like this is kind of affecting your connection. But I don't think this Five of Wands is necessarily something bad between you and this other person. And I don't know why I'm getting that. Probably because the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is here. Let me see what this is about. Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Gemini's and the Wheel of Fortune, I swear. It's just kind of like a constant, at least on my channel. Why is the Two of Cups and the Wheel, Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, Seven of Swords. It's all connected, but I don't know what it is. It's, it's almost, you know, and, and again, I feel like this is a very specific scenario, you know? Why the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Swords? Well, the Seven of Swords is typically a card about sneaking around. Um, the strategy that someone's using is one that's very specific, might not be ethical. This could be somebody that's doing things behind someone else's back. And it's, it's, it's a card about avoidance. Someone doesn't want to face something head on, so they're trying to go around it. I feel like you don't trust this person or there's some sort of situation between you and this person where they say something that kind of makes you question things or maybe they're dealing with uh, this problem in not the best way. But why is this your, you know, I feel like you're worried possibly because this is affecting your connection. So if they're having dramas with their family, for example, let's say they're having problems with parents. Well, their parents are, they're so busy taking care of this problem that they don't spend time with you or something like that. Let me get one more. Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. What's going on here for Gemini? What's going on here for Gemini with the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune? Six of Pentacles. Okay, I want one more. Can I get one more? The Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I have a feeling that some of you might be like, listen, work on whatever you need to work on over there. <laughs> Bring whatever peace or balance into your life and then come talk to me. 
deal with what you got to deal with because I don't want to have to be dealing with this or, or waiting on you, you know? I think this person is going to try to fix this. Um, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This is about harmony, resolution, and putting in effort. So I feel like whatever this is, that's kind of, I, I think it's more of an annoying problem than a serious problem. Um, it could be that, you know, some maybe their parents or their friends don't want them to be with you. It could be that that's on your side. It could be that you start off, they say something that kind of like turns you off and you're like, eh, I'm just not interested in that. Um, whatever this is, they're going to fix it. And that's going to be a turnaround here with the Wheel of Fortune. And that's why the world is here as well. So it's like this is all connected, but it doesn't really make sense, <laughs> which is such a Gemini thing. <laughs> I mean, sorry, guys, I'm a little bit I'm, I have a cold right now. So I'm like, you know, I probably don't sound so hot. Uh, so, but I wanted to do these videos while I have the time because I'm doing personal readings. Okay, tell me about the world. What's this world about? Why is the world here? This is the moving forward card. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Tell me about the world. The High Priestess and Judgment. Wow. Ten of Swords. Five of Swords. Interesting. Remember when I said that you were really responsive, sensitive, perceptive? I'm getting this High Priestess energy. And the Nine of Wands. You're in protection mode. Maybe you are wanting to give someone a chance but it doesn't mean that you're going to avoid ignore your intuition tell me about the world ace of wands yeah this is something completely new two of wands nine of swords okay so i feel like what this is is a rocky start gemini that should that's kind of what i'm picking up here there is something that's beginning for you in love and it's not it's not the best thing ever right away. It's almost like this is a, a rocky start to something great. I mean, I feel like this is exactly what some of you have been wanting, but uh, it's just not happening in the way that you expected. So I don't, again, I don't pick up energy here that makes me be like super worried i'm not like super worried here about something yeah i just don't pick up like that watch out energy tell me more about this energy for gemini what do we need to know about this situation these current energies for gemini what do we need to know about these energies for gemini what do we need to know i feel like one of you is worried but i I don't think that you need to be. Main female. What do we need to know? Mature woman. Oh, there might be two people here. Courthouse. Yeah, this. There's something like um, an occupation at the bottom of the deck. Th this is what someone's working on. This is that higher font justice energy, like contracts, negotiations, paperwork, institutions. This could be a boss, a family member, friend, multi, there's two people here. And this I feel has a lot to do with work for some of you. So this could be a terrible boss that takes this person's time. This could be a job switch that means that they have to kind of deal with closing out their employment and starting a new one. This could be you. Um, this is, could be also a situation where this person you're dealing with has made an official decision but it's going to take time and effort to close everything out and start fresh. It's going to be different for all of you. But basically, I feel like there, there could be um, this five of wands could be in the form of people. So what can you expect next? Ten of swords reverse, six of wands reverse, hangman reverse. Okay, I heard it's complicated. <laughs> Okay, I feel like you're going to be like roped into something and normally you would have been like, bye, I don't want to deal with this. But the connection is so strong that some of you are going to be like, okay, fine, I'll see where this goes, you know. 
I'll see where all of this is headed. I think the Ten of Swords reverse and the world are telling me that there's a cycle in the moving forward card. You are ending a cycle or this person's ending a cycle and you're getting roped into kind of like the consequences of that. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse with the Six of Wands reverse and the Hangman reverse. What do we need to know about these future energies? Page of Wands, what do we need to know about these future energies? Page of Pentacles, again, I don't I don't think this is the end of the world, Gemini. What else? Ten of Swords reverse, Six of Wands reverse, Hangman reverse, what do we need to know? Someone's starting off uh, um, small. Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. These are small offers, small steps, small initiative to something new. Someone I feel is going to have to start from zero. And I think that that makes you kind of a little bit wary because maybe you're looking for someone that's maybe a bit more established. The star, Aquarius energy. I think this person is going to be like, give me a chance. <clears throat> Six of Swords, the star. Yeah, someone's leaving a situation. It could be leaving a job, it could be moving, leaving drama behind, um, something to do with a cycle that should have closed and they're needing to close it. And for some reason, this is difficult for your connection. It's not gonna affect your connection negatively to the point where like you have no future. I don't see that at all. Um, but it's gonna make you kind of I don't know it's almost like actually I want this one my stellar soulmate deck um, it's almost like it's gonna be an annoyance a um, an interruption um, and some of you this is someone you already know and for others of you this is someone that's coming in and regardless it doesn't matter they're bringing something with them or you're bringing something to this connection that is gonna be kind of like a rocky start But I think this has potential for something very solid, something that has long-term potential, something that is worth giving a chance. Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Gemini 